I started this ritual when I was younger. Taking photos of myself. Oh, not the way that people do it today. No. I take them all in the same place and at the same time on the same day. The stretch of road where my mom used to live, bearing for miles. It's the kind of place an airplane could land, like they do in the movies when there's an emergency. Fuel is spilling out of the bullet hole and they pull down onto the road. I'd stand on that road and hold a handkerchief and pretend like they were coming home. Now, there are cars in some of the first photos, but I like to pretend that they're being pursued by an unseen pilot with nefarious intentions. See, that's the fun thing about taking a photograph. You can't tell what's happening beyond the photo. It could be an extraterrestrial pilot. Do you believe in life on other planets? I do. I believe they visit us. I'm one of those people. <laughs> How do you know for sure? You don't. Now, I'm not saying that I'm seeing strange lights in the sky or nothing, but you're telling me that in this universe, which is trillions of light years big and getting bigger every day, that there's not a chance. Problem is, most people can't wrap their heads around that. I can. Dad always said I have an overactive imagination. What happens when you line up these photos of me side by side? I get bigger and that imaginary landing strip gets smaller. I get older. I get better at taking photos, but nothing else. <coughs> Blame it on the movies. I kept waiting for a plane to come because that was the quickest way out. <laughs> I had the whole thing memorized about what I'd say to mom. He'd have a postcard ready so he could just throw it off the wing. Dear Mom, I can't stand it anymore. And there's a handsome man with a square jaw, aviator goggles, and a biplane. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. You have fun with all that self-realized guilt and anxiety. <laughs> Love me. My therapist convinced me to put in that last sentence. If you ask me, it sounds too much like what she would say, and not enough like what I would. I don't blame mom. Men in uniform, they say. Men who hunt and are hunted. Or hounded. Justice Bigler. Elwood Dick. John Johnson Jr. People who don't think that aliens have visited this planet are just so dumb or so narrow-minded, they might as well just stay here while we achieve celestial enlightenment and become one with the universe. <laughs> you can enjoy all the fritos and diet right. <laughs> all the detrius from Burmese sweatshops, sponges, shitty pop-up tents, and flowered key rings with the name of your alma mater. John Crow. Do you know who he is? The name of a god. Now, of course, you and I don't see him as a god because we don't believe in that kind of stuff. We, fancy people, believe in totalities, not things with a first and last name. Now, these people on this tiny, tiny, tiny island down in the Pacific, they think the John Frum is going to come back. He's a World War II-era service man because some fool got the idea to put a landing strip down on that island so we could bomb the shit out of whoever was over there. And while we were over there, waiting for that radio to squawk on and say who we should unload on this time, old John Frum and his buddies, they would smoke cigarettes and drink coke from bottles. And you know who got the leftovers? Then, when all that bombing was done, all the John Frums, they packed up and went away, away. So, do you know what those natives are doing? Right now? Waiting for John Frum to come back. Reminding somebody you know? They call it a cult. Because everyone knows that John Frum isn't a god or even someone supernatural. He could be someone you know or related to. Someone who went before you. Someone who left your family and turned your mom into a total wreck. 
someone who just picked up and went somewhere else. Someone who left half a glass of milk on the table. Can you imagine the infinite ache of all those people on that island? Who would want that? And then all of us knowing. I mean, really knowing that it was all a myth. Which is a fancy way of saying lie. No one's coming back. It's my birthday. <laughs> This is the last time that I do this. This is the last time that I take this shot. This is the last one. I didn't believe he was going to come back. <laughs> he said he would. I haven't left. But this? This is the last one. <laughs> 